And if you could tell, you know, I just been really letting, letting my now, it's been some time since I've recorded. It's been some time since I've made a video, but my favorite saying, new year, new me. It's crazy because a lot of people still ask me, what kind of videos do you make? What are your videos about? And I still, to this day, never have an answer. Do I vlog? No. I don't make educational videos. At this point, I just default to, I make vlogs, but I leave a message with every single vlog. Even though we all kind of know it. I mean, I feel like that's not the truth. Because I don't vlog. Well, am I vlogging? I don't know. <laughs> Y'all see what this sign said? Road closed. Now, it's a new year, and what a lot of people do at the end of a new year is, let me change this angle. What a lot of people do at the end of a new year is they reminisce about what happened that year. But instead of asking what happened, I'd rather ask what's next. If you know me, you know I've made a lot of crazy decisions. Well, I wouldn't say crazy decisions, but I've, laid, I've made a lot of decisions that have altered my life. Only 20 is, I haven't really been through a lot, but at the same time, I've been through a lot, right? As soon as I turned 18, COVID happened, went to the Air Force Academy, left the Air Force Academy and went back home to Indiana, got my first apartment the day I turned, the day before I turned 19. Then I left that apartment to come here to North Carolina. I went to North Carolina a and and then we all know, well, no, not everybody doesn't know, but I pretty much dropped out of school because I want to do my passion, which is YouTube. And I've had trouble thinking about that for so long. But forget what happened instead let's ask what's next a lot of times i used to just look back and just regret a lot of the decisions that i made i used to think what if this what if that but like this sign said those roads are now closed <laughs> Now, over the past two months that I've been off camera, I would say I have grown tremendously in a way that I'm now starting to enjoy where I'm actually at. A lot of the roads that we used to think about are now closed, or like I was gonna say, they don't exist. It's so funny because I used to think back, if I made this decision, I would be here. If I made that decision, I would be there. I look at other people who didn't make the decisions that I made and I'm like, wow, they're in much better positions than I am. And then I start to remember that for one, I'm not them. And then for two, I'm also enjoying where I, where I currently am right now. I'm enjoying the person that I've grown into. I'm enjoying what I'm doing. I'm enjoying the, the plant. I'm enjoying the plans that I have set out for myself. This year is gonna be a, a smooth, slow year for me because one thing about me is I've always, I'm very impulsive and it's been more toxic than it's been helpful. This year, I plan on slowing things down. A goal I have for 2022 is to move to Houston. I mean, 2023 is to mute, move to Houston this year, and put myself in a better position to make videos. I used to think that I was gonna blow up all within a certain amount of time. I used to think that I was gonna grow within a certain amount of time. But then you sit down and think, what if, what if, what if so much? You sit down and think what for if. one month. You sit down and think what for if. two months. And then as those as that time passes by, you realize that you could have been making progression into what you want to really do. And so what that, what if was leading to, whatever that was leading to, you could be making progression to that rather than sitting around thinking what if. So a lot of the roads behind me are closed. A lot of people just stress, they reminisce, they regret so many things in their past life. In the past year, they do a recap on decisions they wish they would have made on things they wish they would have done better but it doesn't exist those roads are closed something big i decided to do for myself for this new year a refresh uh a quote unquote rebrand was i wanted to make a new instagram which i did and that was big for me you know some people like to say that social media or well, i mean i'm not gonna lie social media can be poison in a lot of people's life social media can be negative to a lot of people but rather whether people want to admit it or not Social media pretty much runs the world nowadays, right? Of course, there are those people who don't get on social media at all. Nowadays, rather than people reading newspapers, that what do they do? They get on Twitter. What do I do? I get on Twitter. I hit the magnifying glass. I see what's trending. I see what's going on in politics, sports, entertainment areas. People will pick up their phones before they watch the news. 
people will pick up their phone before they get on the computer. And some people use their phones as computers. Some people get on social media to check up on their relatives, to check up on their friends, to check up on their acquaintances. Social media is all in all very powerful and I feel like some people know how to utilize, utilize it the correct way. Some people it starts to become a poison for. Some people just use it strictly for entertainment. But me making a new Instagram was like a fresh start for me because I've been on social media for a super long time. I had my I made my Instagram when I was 10 or 11 years old. I, I'm pretty sure I was 10 years old when I made my Instagram. I'm 20 now. So I was following a lot of people that I didn't know. I was following a lot of people that I didn't care to see. I was just following bot, some bot accounts that no longer were ran by people or people just just logged out and never got back on. And then so many people were following me but all the way back from when I was 10 years old. From a decade ago, I had my Instagram for a decade and I felt it was time to refresh, it's time for something new. A lot of people often judge me just by my looks. A lot of people don't know that I'm very vocal on certain things. A lot of people don't know that there's times that I just can't shut up about certain things and I really love to voice my opinion. I really love to educate people. I really love to inform people. These are the things that I love to do. So making a new Instagram, it was like a new start for me. Some people said like, you have like 9,700 followers. Why don't you just unfollow some people, blah, blah, blah. And a lot of people were more so worried about the numbers. But for me, I just wanted a new fresh start. You feel me? Like, people that, that want to follow me, they're going to follow me eventually. And then whenever it's my time, then it's just my time. But I'm not really worried about, I'm not really worried about numbers. Like how I used to be worried about numbers. It's so crazy because there used to be a time where I said, if my Instagram got deleted, I, w I was going to cry because so many people's Instagram Instagrams are getting deleted. So many people's Instagrams are getting hacked. And I had like 10K, 10.1K at that time at that point in time. So I was like I was like, bro, if I lose my if I lose my Instagram, then I'm through. I'm done. Like I don't know what I'll ever do. But I eventually started to lose followers. I eventually lost 100 followers, then 200 followers, then 300 followers, then 400 followers. Simply because I just like to speak my mind. I just like to speak out on things. And I really want to be an influencer. I want to be a content creator. I love my videos. I love the way I, I incorporate things in my videos. Some videos won't be the same as all the other videos, but it's just the past that I have. YouTube is just the past that I have. And, and me, instead of me looking at all those closed roads, instead of me looking back to things that don't exist, it's time that, I, I mean, I ask myself what's next and I prepare for what's next. And me truly put my heart into my passion and everything. That's what's next for me. This year is going to be a chill year for me, a relaxed year for me, a year that I try not to be so impulsive, a year that I try not to do everything at once, a year that I stick something out and actually finish it, you feel me? No more thinking on the closed roads, no more thinking about things that don't exist, no more, you know, reminiscing about things that would never happen. What's happening today is what's gonna happen. I mean, the, the question is what's next? You know, I'm excited because I'm back doing videos. I'm back, I have a new camera. I just feel better about things. And I'm no longer dwelling on the past. I'm now looking forward to the future and preparing myself for the future. I feel like part of being responsible in life are, is doing things like this. Part of maturing, part of growing. If you truly want to be successful, if you truly want to chase a dream, then you have to hold yourself accountable. You have to be responsible. You have to keep your head in the right mindset. You have to be on the on the correct path. Put yourself in a position that's gonna make you win. You know. So yeah, I'll see y'all later. Leave this view. It sucks. Uh, speak on my name and bet go. I'm bringing out K's and vest to smoke. We came in to stain the streets. I'm too high still I'm breathing in helium. I'm inside of my brain with a river B. Put that money in ground like a kiwi. Load a diamond because I was teaching me that. From all of the places say you're Losing me guarantee and one thing she regret. Getting over on me won't go, don't try. Got my heat on my lap and the weed in the back.